Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Okay. I'm looking around. Anyway. I'm heading to Kakariko Village today. So we'll go for here first. As there was a shrine in the distance. I believe that's the one. Yep. All right, let's go. lot more sneakier now. Okay, hang on, not that one. I want to keep the one, these ones, because I, I felt like they might be important. I'm gonna keep one of big enemies as well because in Breath of the Wild there were ones about big enemies. Or rare things, so bloopies, I'm gonna keep the photos. Maybe one of those. That was a cool photo, I wanna keep that one. No, this should be something. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. They ruined it. Just couldn't take photos in peace. I 
Okay, hang on. Oh wow, I don't have another axe. That's interesting that they don't count as ingredients this time around. We have a Korok friend. I'll do the first. Combat training throwing. Carefully. They're encouraging throwing in this one. I mean, I was gonna get a replacement anyway. How much is this one? Three. Okay, it's better. Awesome. Two more, and then I got another heart container.
Oh, yeah, right, the Korok. Oh, my friend and I got separated. Where's your friend? I'm just gonna walk this one over. I wanna save the rockets. Once I get more rockets, then I'll start yeeting these things. It's not that far away. I got the rocket thing to work. No. I mean, it only flies a set distance. So, it did get him to fly, but not far enough. Thanks for bringing my friend here. Here's something for you. It's unlikely there's anything else here. I'm gonna head east now. shouldn't go anywhere near that. Yeah, no, I'm good. Holy crap, that one's dressed in armor. The idea cracked you up. What? Like... If you were to just go on Reddit, Twitter, anything, and just look at the stuff people are doing to Koroks. I haven't been looking. But, you know, my, me and my brothers were talking about it on Mother's Day, just, uh, already. The amount of stuff that people are doing. I mean, the catapult I thought was a good idea, but it just didn't work. Because I, I think it just needs to be stuck in the ground. But because I can't actually stick it in the ground, it would never work. The ramp to launch a rocket, though, that worked. It sent it flying. It's just... The rocket doesn't last long enough yet, so... I mean, maybe later, if I get upgrades to duration of items. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, check them, but, like, I'm avoiding them because they're spoilers, so... I am not gonna discuss them, <laughs> pretty much, but go have a look. There are cobblins on the sill this time. Well, this one's still here. Link, why? You shouldn't be slipping on that. I don't know, they've done something to the climbing. It's like, in some cases it's better, and then in other cases it's worse. a new axe. This is what I'm getting. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the tower's here. I may as well get it. Camera function is just so janky. I appreciate the compendium thing, but some of these are so extremely difficult to take a photo of. There. Jeez. It's way too temperamental. They didn't improve it in the slightest. Good to see that my follower doesn't register as like a, a character. Foothills. Okay. What? Oh, it's broken. Why is it broken? It's not... I can't activate it. It's broken. Why? 
see if there's anything I can do about it. Why is... Okay, hang on, there's a well. not yet. Like this is probably gonna shatter and then I'll be able to take it. <laughs> what on earth? Oh. You, you. What are you doing in a place like this? No, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? What's wrong? I set off a trap in the ruins, and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. Oh. Can you see a switch? If you press that, you should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging, mister. I'll just be waiting here, trusting you. <laughs> Thought maybe I could get creative with it. Okay. Uh, hold up. I mean, the Knight's Claymore is really good. I'm gonna take it. never occurred to me to get out of caves that way. It's fresh. What the? That's interesting. Okay, um. Hold on. Let me. I'm gonna mark it. Right. Um. I'm gonna put person, because that's like a place of interest. Wherever I see a dragon... Oh, also. Wherever I see a dragon. Because now I know where... Where it is. I could have gotten there in time. And it's at 2.40. So... Hold on a sec. I may be able to farm dragon parts. Oh shit, speaking of dragons. I just noticed that off in the distance on the Bridge of Elden. Oh, not the Bridge of Elden, that's Lake Hylia Bridge. Why does, the, why does the wood have to roll? <laughs> hmm. 
afternoon. Let's see if I can get this. So if I stand here for the next minute or two, I should be able to get this. Assuming it keeps coming this way. I can make some half hour buffs with this. Whoa, a whirlpool. Oh, that works. It came up before. How did, how did I do that? Oh, that's annoying. Keep it there. I'll just wait. Well, it was roughly 2 p.m. when I saw it. It's almost 2 p.m. now, no sign of it. Hmm. Interesting. I figured take advantage of it while I found the spot where I can easily access it, but it's not here. Maybe they've changed how the dragons appear in this one. Ha ha! Alright, well, I've been here for. for about the time it took. Okay, it's not gonna come back, but I have the place marked at least. The only thing I can think of is maybe I need to be a set distance away from the spot. I don't know. I 
I gotta find this cave entrance. So hang on. Should be nearby. It's probably like highly aside. This looks promising. Oh. What the? This was... There used to be a core up here. <laughs> in the previous game. Stop. Hmm. Ah, ooh. Interesting. Is this making me undo what I did in the previous game? Wow. Okay, I solved that one. Still don't see this cave. Oh wait, I think that's it there. Maybe? Ignore the tree. No. find this cave entrance. Huh? 
something here. Hang on. Welcome. On this land sits the sacred shrine entrusted to me. I believe my destiny was nullified when this land fell to the surface. It was therefore fortunate that I fell to this precise spot. I can still fulfill my task. What is that task? To give visitors in this land particular words of guidance. Give keys born of water to the three altars. The sacred shrine, shrine will appear. Heed these words and offer keys to three altars to reveal the sacred shrine. Keys born of water. Oh. Okay, I know what it is. I still gotta find that entrance, but... Stop harass harassing me for a minute. He's born of water. I thought I'd be fine stuff in these pools, but I don't think it's that. I'm a, I think I know what I should have done. I've made my life harder here. There's a way to make this easy. Can you get out of the way? There we go. Should have done that the first time. Alright, so it's behind me.
Wait, this is a different well. There's the entrance. So we don't get trapped ourselves. Thank you, I knew you'd rescue me. I don't know much, but please take this. This is what lured me into the trap. I don't even want to look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. Wait, I don't have time to chat. I have urgent business at the tower, so I have to go. Thanks again. Oh, you fix it. See, that's good. There's just quests that are meaningful. There's another well just out. Wait, what is this? Another button. No, oh, thought so. It's just a topaz. What is this? Ooh. Tick now. Yeah, it does. Okay, now I'm going in this well. Another book. The road of a gourmand is fraught with thorns. It's why I choose to travel alone. But this life does have a share of lonely nights. That's when you need to shine a light to keep the darkness at bay. These newly discovered bright ingredients have the strange effect of making the body glow. I recently discovered that the intensity of the light depends on the materials you use. For instance, I ate a dish cooked with a glowing fish cave. Cave fish. I produce more light than a bright cap dish. The effect is more powerful the harder the ingredient is to collect. Okay.
nedsatser. Laziness. I can't fast travel to it. Born out of water. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is like Lake Hylia. I don't know. But we don't want to mess with that. I haven't seen any Talus, which is interesting. Besides from the one that was tamed. Another well. do this. It doesn't seem like you can crack this open. think of is like from an aerial strike shoot a ball marrow down. Right, there's another well over here. They might be connected. That's not good. There's a shrine in here. Okay. Up. I'm still gonna try. Wait, that's another well.
Okay. So does that mean the other one is now... Let's see. It didn't affect this one. Okay, so what did that do? Hmm. Okay, I'll have another look. It must have drained something. There's more wells, I just wanted to be sure. Oh, they're gone. Okay, let's try this. that work? Yes. This looks more promising now. Unbelievable. Even underground it can be slippery. I was wondering when you would turn up. Great. I don't have stasis this time to help. Not good. Oh, 
Oh my god. Quick wait. Turn so quickly for something so bulky and gigantic. For something made out of stone, it sure can turn around quickly. Um, okay. Well, the solution to this is polearm, so... We're going polearm. For it, wait for it now. Why do you have to do that? That's what I was trying to do. Just the window is very tight for that. Ooh, diamond. Good work. Please. Ugh. All right. Ooh. Hot. That's my strongest weapon now. Okay, that was worthwhile. Yeah, so we kind of have a problem here. I need to climb. This is here on purpose. Uh, we should have, yeah. You mean you can't take that out here? Bullshit. Thank you. Okay, and 
now. Ow. Wait, rock hard food. <sighs> Shit, that's not what I was trying to do. I thought I needed to light it on fire. Okay, uh, we need... And... Uh... It's the one. But it didn't work. What shot is that? Uh, you get it in the sky. It's near a, a shrine. I guess it's kind of a reward, but it also helps you do a mini game quicker. What is it called? Um, glide shot. So it gives you skydive mobility, which is very useful. Oh, it undid this. Okay, I see. Well. Oh, for fuck's sake, I hate that <laughs> Have I visited the castle or what, like Hyrule Castle? Not since the first time. I haven't done much. I gotta keep taking photos of it. Is a good weapon. Yeah, before making anything, I'm going to save. I did scan a bunch of amiibos before starting, so I got, like, all these fabric. I didn't get all of them, I got most. Did I get the cow? No. Because I also got... these, so I can wear a l I can do this if I really want to. And it'll look that looks somewhat like a presentable set, or I could do that. But not gonna lie, I'm kind of a fan of just letting it go like this. At least for the time being.
There we go. That worked. Wait, where did this come from? Might be able to save myself some effort here. Yeah, the entire Ocarina of Time set, which is your favorite set. I kind of like the Twilight Princess style. And, uh, I mean, I'm a sucker for the classic one. Okay, I guess I didn't need that at all. Did you also see the, uh, the link I put in Discord? The company doing the, uh, the skins that make it look like, uh, the limited edition set. I mean, they're vinyl stickers, but the vinyl stickers they do are pretty, pretty good from what I've heard. But legally distinct, um, nondescript fantasy set. Just, you know, Nintendo doesn't have a monopoly on triangles and circle shapes. But I ordered a set. I love their, uh, the text. Just the power of plagiarism. The music voices I hear that are good, yeah. This whole sequence is just so, so cool. I let it play as well, because it gives me, like, 30 seconds to kind of just unwind. Or if I need to refill my bottle of water, sometimes I'll be cheeky and just refill it quickly. Have I gone to her tuna? No, no. At this point, everyone's going to overtake me, because I, I don't play this. Like, I, I'm only playing this at night, my time, so... Rito is pretty much the only area that I've been to semi-properly. But today I'm going to go to Kakariko, and then I'm going to go... So I'm heading to Kakariko Village now. And then I'm going to go... To the forest, because, yeah, so sorry. There's a bunch of stuff I'm gonna have to do. I mean, I'm sure Hatina is because of the lab. I think that I would want to fight these things. I got my second stamina wheel, so I'm happy about that. That's where my stamina is going to stay for a while. 
Now I'm gonna look at getting help. Apparently I don't have a hammer. It's fine, I can fix that. There was a stone somewhere here. Over there. Never mind about her too, no? Okay, well... Oh, I was gonna do, not plan to go there until... later. Unless I need aesthetics. I mean, not desperately. I think I look pretty cool and I haven't beelined it anywhere, just saying. Ugh, <laughs> 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 uh, that was not worth it, but I guess... Get rid of the pot lid. Whoa, what's this? I love the detail with this. Link looks like he watches conspiracy theory videos. And it kind of looks... I think this kind of looks like he's going to enter a Birdman competition or something. Or like he's going to some music festival in the desert. <laughs> Just trip the fuck out for like three days. Renaissance Fair, uh, yeah, that too. His hair sh says it all, doesn't shower, it's just au naturel. If he's gonna put anything in his, his hair, it's just like oils, no shampoo or anything like that. I don't want to put toxins anywhere near his body, you know? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> body odor stops. After a month of not using deodorant, yeah. Okay. This is where my technique is gonna come in handy. I found a Korok. <laughs> it went too high. Oh, 
Well, at least I'll remember that. Did that really not work? Okay, let's try it again, but more... Over here. Is this directly under it? Kind I mean, this this will probably work still. Okay. Well, this comes to us, I'll do the double elevator. Nope, it's still taking me to the surface. Alright, double elevator it is. Okay, so... This is the double elevator technique. This one. There we go. Easy. That's a that's a really good find. That is a huge find. Very happy about that one. Exploration is just so much more meaningful than this. It really is. Yeah, ha, ha Come here. Yeah. <laughs> I almost feel like going down there again and beating the Talus. Honestly, probably not a bad idea. Because the thing it gives is pretty damn strong. The Talus Heart. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. She sounds so different, yeah. Of slain monsters to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this isn't a bullet. Look at how quick they are. How are you supposed to fight these assholes? Teleporting. It's not quick enough to move.
That wasn't cool. I want to do this again because it is good for me. the ones that have it on their back. technically. I need to give it more attack power. I mean, this is kind of sick. Let me think. What can I do? Hinox Hammer, Boomerang, Magic Staff. I need to do it right now, that's kind of the problem. Yeah, I think this will do. I don't care about the flame emitter too much. Ooh. That's a spear that does 25 damage. I got I got a good weapon. This is so worth just doing over and over again. Oh, I can't escape here, but that's fine. Um, don't have anything that close by. I can still get out, I think think if I just... <laughs> Where's the wooden plap? There it is. You can get out that way. I can't believe they've effectively made it rain on the ground. With all the things. 
This is another talus. Wait, no, it's not. It looks like it. Okay, I haven't been down this well. Oh. Connects back here. Okay, that's fine. Good photo of the frog. See ya. I guess it can't follow me up here. This thing's as scary as... Man. It's another well I haven't been in. Okay, hold on. Is this? is this even gonna go high enough? It won't. That's not high enough. Is that Tutorial Island? It kind of looks like it. Okay, this is something unique. Sure likes to give you a lot of these. Just trying to make sure you don't run out of them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they want you to have them for the depths, for sure. Okay, I expected something special there. I don't know if that's all the wells, but well lady is going to have a field day. That 
All right, I'm going to the tower. Finally, that was, uh, that was a massive distraction, but I guess it ended up in the shrine. Climbing seems to take a ton of less stamina, which is nice. They've done changes to climbing for sure. I think it's easier to climb, but then I've had circumstances where slopes that in Breath of the Wild wouldn't cause me to slip. Uh, slip. Like, I think it's easier to slip, but then on the flip side, it, you can kind of recover a bit easier from it. And it uses less stamina, so I'm kind of torn about it because... On the one hand, there's improvements, but on the other, I feel like it's worse. <laughs> they took out whistle sprinting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, figured they would. Hello there, mister. Thanks again for saving me. I was only in the area in the first place to do maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to humidity, but I fixed it in a jiffy. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delay. Now I need to hurry next to Skyview Tower. I probably caused some trouble for my friends at the construction company, so I'm going to get moving as soon as I calm down. Dude, came here to do a job and just went on a wild goose chase. to find a way to increase the energy thing you want to build plans. There, there should be a way. Okay, well there's a shrine directly underneath me. But let's see what we can get to in the sky whilst I'm at... Oh, it doesn't even go to that altitude. So something's definitely happening at uh, Luralin. Okay, the, be the best I can do- oh, this is so much better. This is so much better. I can- I can navigate so easily. Okay, well. Taking a picture of it. Okay. The suit is the best. Hey, Colorun, how's it going? Where was it? Over there. Over there. It's on the way. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Okay. Where's your friend? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's. That's fine. It's kind of on the way. Wait, what on? Okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. Hang on. I need a flat surface. What is this? I can't tell what this is. A steering thing? Ah, stop, you need to not... Okay, this is the only annoying thing about this is just... Okay, I'm gonna have to do this flat. Alright. But even then, it's still... How do people make these elaborate contraptions, honestly? Okay, match the angle. Yeah, no, that's, that's not good. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> okay. Now this, I finally, I finally got it. Okay, I finally got it. Now, gotta think how this is gonna work. Okay, and then where's the other wheel? <laughs> Haven't really missed out on much. Just me. Going around trying to get to Kakariko, but I'm getting distracted by stuff. As you can see. Okay. Is this gonna work? <laughs> That's not gonna work. This is not gonna- this is not gonna work. Like it- Okay. Oh, this is this is the dumbest one yet. Are they both heading in the same direction? They are. Okay, so in theory. Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> no, it's it's still not powerful enough. We need to help it. Too much of a hill. I mean, it's functional. Just don't. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Functional. Yep. Functional. <laughs> functional. Functionality is is the number one concern here. <laughs> Sir, you're going the wrong way. At this point, I may as well have carried him. There you go. It's not strong enough to get up this hill. What's the point? Look, I'm having to carry it up the hill anyway. Yes. 
I guess amusement. Wait, stop, 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 I'll I'll get better at it. Wait, is that another one of these undo the the Korok seed? Is it though? I need to find the spot. Hang on. There. Okay, got it. I like these ones because these are a throwback to Breath of the Wild. These are seeds that I would have done, and now I have to undo them. Crap. There we go. I'll be able to get another heart soon. Built for rails. Oh, I got it. Yeah, look, I mean, I, I was gonna use this to jump across it, but let's just do it the intended way. These make me feel like I'm playing Portal. Where do I need to get to? Just the end over there? Where are you going? I don't need much else, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't just do this to begin with. Never gonna get tired of that. Ooh. Oh, shit! <laughs> it just pushed me down. 
I got foiled by my own elevator. Oh, no. Why would it do that? It just undid all, everything I brought with me. Okay, well, I'm bringing all these with me. Now, I mean, let's see what this causes. Oh no, see, I need to. I think this might be a hook system instead. But I need the original thing. Did this just screw me over just because it reset it? to just touch it. How high do I need to go? Okay, look, we can do this the proper way. We could. Or we can do this this way. Might get in the way, we'll see. I want to give us as much time in the air as possible. Still be fine.
<laughs> Alright, that's as high as this is gonna go. Absolutely insane you can do that. Okay, and now... Oh, we go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could have solved it, but I think I'm happy with this. It works. It's so good because you can just get, you can get to a ridiculous height with that. Pretty much as high as the sky, if you're, if you're patient enough, you can do it. <laughs> you can get up pretty high. Just whatever the bounds of the, the rewind functionality is. Okay. I do like these puzzles though. Some of them just give me vibes like as if I'm playing Portal. The Spring of Courage is just here. I can go, because I, I, I am using fast travel. I can go and have a look at least and see what's here. I think it's going to be the same, just bring... Devout swordsman who offers his prayers, hear my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of Mother Gullah's statue, which dwells in the vast canyon. I would ask you to go to that land and bring tidings to me of Mother Goddess statue. Please, I beg of you. Oh. Different. This looks gloomy. Anyway, I'm not I'm not going into this area. Just wanted to see since this was here. Oh. <laughs> I see him. So let's see. The, uh, the, the, gotta help the president out. That's it, just two rocks, that's all I got. sideways <laughs> uh chat <laughs> kind of trapped me in there
Even that doesn't look all right. Let's just try it. Good. How is the president standing? That was brilliant. I would have never thought of that. All right, let's get him secured. Useful. I like this quest. Wait, is that another shrine that I missed? Guess so. That's fair enough, that one. I feel like I'm just barely scratching the surface here. Even though I've done quite a bit. Going here because there's probably a cork at the very least. Okay, there's something here. these ones. Oh, no, it's okay. I thought it was the one that sends you far away from where you were. This is fine. I can make a, uh... Make a plane. Or I could try. <laughs> okay. Actually, let's do this. All right. Is 
I feel like this is a bad idea, but let's just see. In theory, this should be good. I mean, that looks pretty solid to me. I just don't think this is a good idea. Where am I pointed at right now? You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just go. Okay. How does this work? Control. Oh. Oh, no shit. Wow. And then I can add more fuel to it like this. I mean, okay, uh, this would probably work later on. Right now, it's not going to last very long, but kind of neat. Pretty neat. I like it. Hey, Snow Mario, thanks for the luck. This is cool. Alright, well, there's a Korok seed over here. trying to do here yeah <laughs> don't know if I've taken a photo of that one yet See, I've seen this one and I couldn't figure it out. Hang on. I don't get what I'm supposed to do with this one. It's definitely a Korok. I'm just not entirely sure what to do with it. I still haven't figured this one out. It's not shooting it. So I definitely shot it there. Alright, I'm gonna mark it and I guess just figure it out later. I'm still not quite sure what it wants me to do with those. What on earth is that? Hmm. 
I mean, I guess get it. May as well. It's like Colosseum fell from the sky. Sahasra. Sahasra la 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 la. Hang on. <laughs> ah, I got a few shots in. Come back. How strange. Yeah. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? Uh, My apologies, it looks like we have a small problem. What's going on? Ooh. I heard that the terminal at Skyview Tower needs repairs, so I came to fix it, but... Mm. The door won't open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge, no matter how hard I push or pull. Ah. Of course, I know. It's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. Uh. I bet nearby K is... Wait. Oh... There are caves at the bottom of the hill. Used to go mushroom hunting them all the time while we were building the tower. <sighs> what? <sighs> but I have... What mushrooms do you want? <laughs> You're not making that clear. No, I'm going to the village first. Oh, what? There's a cave here. Hold on. Did I try to catch the flower mid-air? No. I honestly thought it was just an archery thing. Crap. Uh, sure. I'll make a... Boomerang hammer. Hello, Messiah. How's it going? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think. Oh, crap, it's one of these things. Scratch that, it's multiple of these things. Okay, not good. Okay, we're fine then. Carrying here. Just got rid of two of them. That was a chill and carry. Good job. <laughs> Navi's pretty good. Yeah. I did leave one. 
Which I can go back and get. What? Oh, this is just another exit. I guess, alright. What mushrooms did you even want, dude? I got, I got every type. Okay. What are you, what am I doing? I'm trying to get in here. Caves nearby would have some tasty mushrooms. I just went to a nearby cave. Wasn't that one. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it for now. I'll go to the village first. Yeah, this one isn't specifying what he wants. I feel like it's just I have to go to a, a certain cave and then he'll be like, Oh yeah, thanks for going in the cave. It's behind me. Oh shit, I just thought I just thought of something. I think I know what this is. I bet I have to go through the floor. I have to find the spot where it like overlaps. This is the answer. Hang on, I hear the... Before we go up. See, for stuff like this, I don't... Sometimes I just won't get stuck. And that's purely because that's just Zelda 1 that has taught me to look at stuff like that. But when it's something simple, I'll overcomplicate it. How'd you get inside? Wait, is this is this real? Is this really the reason? These sticks? What? It opened. How in the world did you manage to fix it? I can't believe a couple of sticks caused all this hassle. I wonder if those were in there to begin with and just fell over somehow, or if some monster did that on purpose. 
Either way, that really helped. Thank you. Well, mm. yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things where they they gave a clue and it's just going to send people down uh. a rabbit hole thinking, okay, I need to find a cave with mushrooms. What mushrooms do you think? And then I realize, wait, the positioning of that is very, yeah. It wants you to find a spot to be able to rise from the ground, so. Sometimes this game feels like it's an IQ test. Doesn't look. I mean, there's little bits of debris here and there. I do like this though, because it's, it's better than just climbing the tower. You have to figure something out. North in the Cluda Sky Archipelago. Okay, well this is a shrine, so we're gonna have to do something here. Just chest attached to the bottom of that. I can get it. Okay, it's not. Hmm. Leave it for now. Should be on the end of this. I think I know how I'm going to do this. At the end, I'm just going to cut it and then fall with it. Not overcomplicate it. Oh nice, I need these shrooms. 
I was wondering when they would turn up. It's been a while. Is this another chest? But I should just be able to grab this, shouldn't I? It's just out of reach. Okay, hang on. Okay, I know what it wants me to do. It wants me to make a bridge to catch it. I had to trust that was going to work. Old map. Another one in the underground. Okay. I still haven't looked into any of that. I just left the underground as is. to from here. That is an... Un hmm. I don't think I can make it across, but let's try. What is this? Other than lots of stone. <laughs> the amount of times I'm using that power accidentally when I'm trying to grab. Sages will. The remnants of a former sage's result. If you gather four of them and offer them a godless statue, you can deepen your connection with the sages. Ooh. Yeah, see, now this makes treasure chests worth it. Yeah, discovery is so much better on this. It has meaning. It's not just, oh, a weapon that's going to break anyway, and ore, and that's it. <laughs> Should probably try and get that chest that was hanging. 
See, if this was Breath of the Wild, I would have been like, eh, it's just a chest. But now, because of this, I am intrigued. Oh, no, not this one. Okay, it's a it's a bridge puzzle, clearly. Oh, but you can do this too. Oh, no shit. Okay, this is how you got it. Make it across that. What can't make it across is the crystal. Wait a minute. Okay, you can't rewind that. I can rewind that. That's interesting. Okay, hold on. First. Should be enough to get it. Is this still too far away? This is, this is risking me, but... Damn it. <sighs> I tried to stand on it and grab it. It's okay. What? Thank you. Oh. Well, that worked. This is this is solved. I'm gonna spend more time figuring out the chest than this. Is this going to be so stupid that it works? Or is this did I just so why did it let me attach it if I can't grab it again? I've made this so much worse now. So stupid. <laughs> this is 
<laughs> so stupid. Okay. Come here. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna detach it yet, because I just think it's gonna be worse. Hang on. Okay, now... Down. Okay. There we go. Another map, so I guess what? We'll see. <laughs> I tried to be smart about it, instead, I made it infinitely worse. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Does it reset, or did I just... It resets. Okay. Thank fuck. <laughs> so this is annoying, huh? Be enough, be enough, be enough. Not enough. I don't know if I can make it reach over there. Oh, okay, just enough. Shit. Rewind. Can't see it. <laughs> it's too far away. Crap. Ah. <laughs> I bet I'm still gonna have to do a shrine after this. Uh, it doesn't reach. How can I get this to not? Sure. 
<笑>ちょっと困ったことなんだけど、つい。はい、サンデー。How's it going?Well, it's doing this. I'm gonna get my water bottle out of the fridge. One sec. Better be worthy. Okay, I'm worthy. Just reading that is of any significance. How's the result? It's good. It's fun. Just... I feel like I'm barely scratching the surface and I've already played it for a long time. I'm going to go to Kakariko Village now. I need to stop and try to get that Korok before I do. I blame the tower. <laughs> How have I already been playing for almost three hours? <laughs> Don't get it. Man. Yeah, this thing. Should probably exchange for some devices here while I'm here. Mm -mm -mm. Depends what they are, but let's have a look. Is this one a spring? Okay, I might take a few of these. This is a new one. Oh no, okay, it's random. Never mind. I thought it was the same one over and over again. I just got a cannon, a time bomb. Another cannon. Alright, I just want another second spring, but that's cool. Okay. Where am I? I am here. Korok is that way. Huh? 
Wait, what is this? A hot air balloon. Multiple hot air balloons. Is this just a way to get up? Okay, it's more than the hot air balloon, it's like a rocket setup. I want to see how this works. I mean, this is teaching devices, I guess. Onwards. I'm trying to see where I am. It's behind me. Ugh. I'm gonna dive from this one. Okay, that direction, let's go. Okay, there's a tower, I see. It was over there somewhere. I think I found it. <laughs> okay. I'll make it. Grabbing it, huh? That's it, <laughs> man. Okay, since that's a thing, which one was it? Can't tell which one it is. Hold on. That's one of these, it has a Korok. At the very start, I ran into one of these things and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Okay, it's not this one. It was a mountain, so hold on. Possibly this one. This looks like a mountain to me. It 
What's over there? Here it is. This is the one that I couldn't figure out. Okay, now I know. But also this cave hasn't been finished. It doesn't have the completion marker on it, so quickly. Okay, it's not that way. Hey, chillin', you wanna take care of the bats for me? So it's probably a good idea to come back here because the cave systems don't have ticks on them. Oh, okay. Alright, the next cave is up ahead. I may as well do this while I'm here. Really? I haven't used them? I find that hard to believe. Where are the little ones? Oh, here they are. Them multiple times. There should be like a side passage or something. Are there any more caves? Let's see. 
That looks like it's it. Okay. Okay. Can I finally make it to the village without being sidetracked by something? I mean, there's already stuff here that's gonna make me go, ooh, what's that? Nadra! Whoa. Is Nadra going near me or? I guess not. Dude, I'm stealing what's in this chest. See ya. Dude's about to get attacked and he says, nah, it's too wet for this. Too wet, I'm not gonna do anything. Makasura Shrine. An upright device. Okay. Okay. I know what it wants me to do. I know exactly what it wants me to do, but I'm not going to do it. this out with me. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Why, sh why shouldn't that be allowed to... Why shouldn't that be allowed to squeeze in through that? Fake geometry. Hux. 
Oh, so that's what it does. It just goes up. But I mean... I don't think I can make it across with that. Hang on. I need the other one. I don't think I can get the other one, though. Now the only thing is, how do I get out? Right, now I can get out easily. Just been going to tower before getting the camera ability. I mean, the camera ability is kind of easy to miss if you don't talk to Robbie. Okay, now I I, rec I recognize what the game wants me to do. I really do. I do recognize what the game wants me to do. but I'm not going to do it. Okay, let's begin.
I love this so much. Okay, that should be that should be high enough. Alright, and now we ride it to victory. Could do it the intended way. Everything is interesting, they added enough to keep the charm of the old map. While also keeping the player engaged and adding new stuff like the sky. Yeah, I mean... I've said this before, it's Breath of the Wild was like a large... ...world that wasn't completely realized to its potential. They kind of set up a framework and then released the game. And then this one is just realizing everything that should have been in the original. Not including the sky, right, the sky or the caves, it's more just what you're doing around the world in general. Like, it's way more fleshed out. Quests feel meaningful. Going to find treasure chests feel meaningful. In Breath of the Wild, I never bothered getting chests after a certain point because they were just boring and didn't really do anything. NPCs were just kind of bland with their quests, and here they have some significance. Like the dude with the sign, man. <laughs> this game feels like Breath of the Wild with a massive DLC. I don't know, I think that's just... That's not doing the game justice by saying that. I think it's way more than that. Especially after that first fight, like, it doesn't feel like a DLC to me. But, to each their own. I mean, the problem isn't that the dude can't handle a hammer, is that he's doing his task on his own. Like, have you ever tried to put together some furniture on your own? And sometimes you just need something to be held up for you so then you can fasten it? Like, if you've never tried to put furniture together by yourself, you won't understand that guy. It's not incompetence, it's just the fact that he has to do something on his own and someone should hold it for him. If anything, Link's overcomplicating it, he should be just standing there and just helping him hold it up. It's got nothing to do with intelligence, it's the bounds of human ability. Gotta get this, gotta get this, go, 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 go! Chillin, where's your gust? Oh, because I'm in town. Oh, you asshole. Quick, quick, quick. have to go down there. I just want the scale and then I want out. 
did I get a claw? Now I got a scale. Why is Chulin a ghost? Well, if you haven't gotten up to it, you haven't gotten up to it, so... It'll answer itself once you're playing the game and getting up to that point. You'll find that on your own. Oh yeah, this has... Uh, people said Breath of the Wild is not enough of a Zelda game. Think this is their answer. People who say it's not enough of a Zelda game, I don't know, man. I just don't agree with that opinion. It's because it's different. By that definition, Four Swords is not a Zelda game, you know? Like, Four Swords is different. And Hyrule Warriors is not a Zelda game. It's, a, it's always a Zelda game, it's just in a different format. Anyone that says it's not is just, I don't know, too, too stuck in their ways. The definition is always basically that you need to get items that help you get further on. You need to have dungeons. And then it needs to be linear. And it's kind of like, well, you could pick some of the games that follow that standard and are probably not the greatest in the series. And you would rather take that than something that's a bit better. But, ah, oh, because it doesn't have your traditional weapons and... That's why it's not great? I don't know, man. Yeah, haha. Okay, that's 19. Well, probably like 60 in total. I can't remember. Hey, girl. Oh, this is... Where's... Where's Impa? <laughs> Perhaps it's the side effect of returning to my previous form from a hundred years ago, but... I had a dream about that time. Back then, Robbie and I did whatever we pleased at Royal Ancient Lab. Age reversal experimentation explosions, warping failure explosions, explosion preventing device explosions. <laughs> I recall us trying things that likely would have gotten us tossed out if Impa and Princess Zelda hadn't covered for us. Impa scolded me often, but never too harshly. Those were fun times. I haven't decided where to hide three of my four volumes yet. Seems like a good idea to hide one away in my own room. I've been looking, I've been at Lookout Landing a lot lately. Maybe I should go back to the lab in Hatino Village to place the diary. How do I fill out the stable import? I have no feelings towards it. They're just horses. Things that I'm not really fond of in the first place. Pyre's diary is chief. One day, grandmother said to me, You've grown up, Pyre. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled. As of today, you are the chief. And so it was. Suddenly I was the chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like grandmother, I do have... Dorian as my aide, for which I am grateful, yet for some reason he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear this chief's hat that grandmother has given 
me is too heavy for me to bear, literally. It rather hurts my head. It happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact, it was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant, weapons decayed, and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded by... shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. As for the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large rings-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that is happening, Grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kato. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There were eleven peculiar symbols depicted in the books Grandmother was reading. Could they somehow be related to her sudden departure? I told Pura of Lookout Landing about our village's situation. She said ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made arrangements with the Zonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself, the same outside, but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin, and then she left just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition, or have any words of kindness for our villagers. The Zonai survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader, Taro, is, incredib is incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tenderly named the ruins that fell upon our village the Ring Ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth. They even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, uh, some of our villagers volunteered to aid research and others for patrol duty. It is a humble... It is humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter Coco even crafted souvenir items called ring garlands. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors had passed. Our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor. Before all else, we must learn more about the ring ruins. It is my responsibility as chief to see that it is done. I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village needed her of then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. Okay, that's it. Is this still here? Okay, because... Oh... Wow. So in Breath of the Wild... <laughs> in Breath of the Wild, I got stuck here. It's not happening in this. Huh. Okay. I don't know if they patched it or there's something different about this one. Yeah, it doesn't work. Wow. Hey there, kid. Did you come to see the Ring Ruins as well? We might bump into each other when you're running around the village seeing the sights. If you want to learn about the Ring Ruins, be sure to ask the Zonai survey team here. Or the village chief. They're the most amazing sight to see in Hyrule. Of all the ruins that fell everywhere, these ring-shaped wonders are only in this village. Five of them. They found a stone slab with Zonai writing in four of the ruins. Those ancient messages are the main reason I came to this village. The problem is I have an extreme fear of heights. My legs started shaking upon even on the second floor of a house. And every ring ruin fell somewhere up high. One of the ruins is floating above part of the village, so at least I can see it from below. The other four, though, forget it. I can't even get close. Wish I could see what's on those stone slabs in each of these ruins. Oh, I have to take photos of them. Can't be bothered right now. Uh... What? Five grand? Holy crap, this is way more expensive. Why is this so expensive? They ha uh. Welcome. Sorry, I must have drifted off. 
Look, I know it won't help to talk about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. I'm running the shop while my little sister, Lasley, is looking after her. We're sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. I'm sorry about this, but we really need money for my grandmother's treatment. I've had to hike up the prices on everything we have in stock. It's just for now. As soon as my grandmother's healthy again, I can set the prices back to normal. Okay, that explains it. I know I shouldn't bring my home situation into the shop with me. But you're just running your business into the ground. Anyway, it's nice to get it off my chest, but I probably shouldn't have dumped it all on a customer. Okay, time to salvage my professionalism. I'm sorry about that. Allow me to welcome you to Enchanted. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CC branded fashion unless you you go to South East Hatino Village. But why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here? We serve both style and quality. Situation at home. You see, my grandmother's sick in bed with a strange illness. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's inflation. I thought for a sec it was going to be because now the village is busy with tourists, that they just jacked up the prices to take advantage of tourists. Excuse me, is that a guillotine? No, okay, it's not. It l I was like, <laughs> this dude's looking at I thought that was a guillotine. That was what? Okay, I thought it was a guillotine. It's not. Yeah. Oh, uh, Loon, good, good of you to come. Too curious to stay away, huh? Who are you again? <laughs> oh, what a droll sense of humor. It's me, Wordsworth, the ancient Hyrulean scholar you met at Lookout Landing. Aren't you curious about my findings here, Link? Ooh. This is a picture of a stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrulean I had in storage at this research lab. Mm. Here's what it says. Once held... What? The honor of Al... Ho Ho okay, this is... This is and Queen Sonia thereafter to his sister and to Princess Zelda. Wait, one. Her on um, something about royal family. This is horrible. I hate stuff like this. I just I just get a headache trying to read it. Mm. Clearly read the names of King Graru, Queen Sonya, and the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Ah. It certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. It's not even ye old words, it's just like a made up version of ye old words. But also, I, I, hate, I hated Shakespeare in high school because of that. It was just... Ugh, anyway. There's no record of anyone by that name in any of the other texts we've unearthed so far. Like, listen. I think if you're into that stuff, if you want to study it later, that's fine, right? I think it's fine to study that. If you want to study history and be a history major, sure. But generally teaching that to all high schoolers instead of, I don't know, teaching how to survive in the world and general life skills... It's like, no, learn learn a form of old English that you're never going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. But as for um, how to apply for tax when you, you're able to get a job and all that stuff. No, 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 no. That's not part of the curriculum. What? You're not going to learn how to survive at all. You'll know how to speak old English, though. <laughs> I just, I hated it so much. Oh. What's written here must be the start of a first-hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Did you notice the number 13 there? That means there are 12 or more stone tablets to be found. If a royal chamberlain really left these, oh. it's an interesting perspective on the day-to-day -day life of the era, one which the history books don't mention. There's so much we could learn here of King Raru, Queen Sonya, or even this curious woman named Zelda. 12 stone tablets are oh. fascinating. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence. I have been doing it already! Oh. Link, I can see the excitement on your face, clear as day. Have you already found something? If you track down a picture of a stone tablet, like the one at Lookout Landing, I'd love to see it. Ah. You have one, show me. Excellent. Hmm. Interesting, I'll get right to translating it. Oh, aha, incredible. Oh. 
It's first-hand Hyrulean history. Here's what the original text says. <laughs> Chat, do I really have to try and read this? Paraphrasing, Raru apparently something like a hunter. Um, something about Sonya, Queen... Keen Insight? Seek him out, repair King to Kingly. I, I can't read this, I'm sorry, I don't care. <laughs> this, this is the easiest way for me to not care about lore, is just trying to force me to try and decipher it. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah, that's great. I'm sure it's riveting. It says that she needed to eat or sleep while making something called the Construct. It was part of her research into a means of returning to life as a spirit possessing a new body, should her original one die. Mm. You, To you or I, this sounds less like history and more like a ghost story. But remember who we're dealing with. They may have had some unfathomable powers that made such things possible. The revelation that Monero was a fellow researcher makes her feel like a kindred spirit to me, and yet the Chamberlain who inscribed these stone tablets treats Monero with such care and kindness that it warms my heart. Okay, ten. Uh <laughs> Ah. Mm. Welcome. You're welcome to come and have a look at the research lab wall anytime. Oh. You find the most stone tablets. Please document them. Do I have any more? Oh. No. Is this at least here? Worth checks. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want to take. This is the tale of King Raru. Apparently he would vacate his official business from time to time in order to go hunting. I had the impression he was a strict and more serious king, but I guess he had a lighter side as well. Queen Senya was always a step ahead. She would put a stop to the king's hunts and bring him back. Okay, that's it. That's all I had to say. While Tora and I were taking a break, he asked me, Hey Caleb, what attracted you to join the Zone I server team? A little flustered, I answered that I heard its research division was led by a brilliant man by the name of Tora. Because of you, essentially. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart, I longed to continue. You're not like the, these other dullards, you know. You immediately grasped the breadth of my vision. Of course, no such thing passed my lips. But I'm certain that Tora and no one else is the man who can help the world see my indescribable worth. Okay, eh, I mean, unless it's trying to show me a secret, it's like, it's cool. Um, I'm trying to remember where their house was. Their house, I think was this one at the end here. What to do? At this rate, Grandmother's health isn't going to... Uh, and Clarice is so busy running the clothing shop. I'll just have to do it myself. I'll have to find a cure. Are you really a traveler? I guess it doesn't really matter who you are, as long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff. Now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is the only thing that she can keep right... Okay. Been trying to mix ingredients that could help with the gloom sickness, but none of them had any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will help my grandmother. Okay. Highland rice, milk, and wild greens. Okay. There are merchants who. Ch I bought Highland rice and milk from merchants who travel the road to the west, so I'm not hunting for those. Okay.
I wonder if I have to make it myself. Um, the dude doesn't know I have Raru's arm. I don't think anyone does. There's a well here. Is this? Is this one of these things where... Let's see. Imagine you're walking and you just see this. There has to be a reason for this well. I don't think that's anything. <laughs> I mean, aside from that blade... Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Torches are... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't really see anything obvious, so let's just leave. Hi. Hello, welcome. I'm sorry, the old fellows who stock this place are busy driving off monsters. They've gone to the ring ones that's among the hills that lead west of this village. So as you can see, I've almost run out of goods. Those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of the problem up there. I can't go and check on them. And the longer they're away, the more worried I get. That's who I saw on the hill. Ah. Okay. Or hey, you there. Come here. Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near the Ring Ruin by Princess Zelda's orders, so you better be on your way. Princess Zelda's orders? You heard me. Princess Zelda came out to Kakariko Village the other day and told everyone to steer clear of that Ring Ruin. She left in a hurry, so I didn't quite catch why. As you surely notice, these ruins could come crum crumbling down at any time, so folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where her concerns are from. I'm 
I guess I have to take photos of these ruins for that guy. I'm sad because this used to be Chicken Man's house. Now it's no longer Chicken Man's house. to chicken man. Stone slab at the eastern ruin ring. Some translation notes. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and time, light. Who holds the power? Secret stone and that person dwell within power and fly great might display. Okay. Another one. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't like that you can't use the powers in town. That's it's an odd choice. protect of Hyrule from the Demon King to go the king. They were known as sages. What I take from this is the yeah, facet of Hyrule in those days. If I was to guess how to fill in the gaps, they'd go like those. There were those who'd known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the Demon King. It's just those ones over there. one I'm hoping this doesn't get in the way of the photo but we'll see okay I have to take out this base You don't know when to stop going on and on about the best defense is a good offense nonsense. And now here we are, the sun's gone down. You haven't gotten any closer to getting rid of these monsters. And we won't as long as you keep turning it upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. You stubborn old codger. Yeah, look, he's talking. Okay. I 
need more arrows. Okay, let's go. A snake strike. So yeah, we're good. Admittedly, do not go smoothly, but we're good. The stone slab at the nested ring run. Those, yeah, okay, let's just jump straight. Clear the slab, okay. Talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. That's it. Good. Summarize. Like it. All right. But I don't believe it. You defeated all the monsters. Just who are you? That was some kind of fighting he did there, Alkin. It sure was. A firm grasp with defense and offense. I've had it wrong all these years. It's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt or worse. Well, the important thing is that we've realized the truth before it was too late. We need a balance between the two. And this fine fighter here showed us the way. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Olkin knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about defense. I doubt there's much a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us, but glad to help if we can. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I guess we head back to our village. Right, I bet my Trissa store is running low on goods right now. People there must be in deep need. Mm. Okay. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I mean. I think I've gotten the photos. I'm gonna just find that dude. He was running around the village. Hey. Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The way it Part of it just floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all of these ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. I'm impressed, Chief Pyre. Oh no, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only since I still have a great deal to. Hmm? Oh, is that you, Master Link? I'm so happy to see you again. She's changed. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Oh. What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us to stay away from the ring ruin that floats above us. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pyre and I suspect, at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. <laughs> oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin 
that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and invaluable find. Several more ring ruins such with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains a rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I can meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intention, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Could just let me go there. Where is the dude? Oh, it's Coco. Hi. You should mark your visit to the Ring Ruins in Kakariko Village. How about a ring garland? They're made of love and only five rupees each. I'll take one. Oh. Thank you. Before you go, I'll add a little extra bit of love to it. You go. Did she actually give me anything? I didn't get anything. Wait, where are you going? I'd have to pick it up. Wow. I had to put this somewhere, clearly. Heart container, please. Hey, my garland! But that's not where I put it. Stop it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. There's probably a use somewhere. I would imagine I had to place it down. Ah! We're hands on with the ring ruins at last. I can't believe it. Uh, Letty, this is just a chunk. Oh, this chunk is a small one. Okay. Just gonna reiterate. It didn't seem like it was a quest. I just skipped it. I've got this garland, but I don't really know what to do with it. made a garland stick. Alright, it's a weapon now. Huh? 
I need to find out what to do with it first, so I guess for now it's a weapon. So I need to see one more. I didn't go to that one up there, so I need to go to that one. Plus damage to people with allergies. <laughs> oh man. Would be funny. Oh, great. Well, you know what I can use now? Let's see if this... Wow. I can't believe they omitted such a thing. I mean, okay, it's still not great. This is still shit. <laughs> Slip resistance. Okay, yeah, not really. Slip resistance. Get the fuck out. It's still, it's still pretty bad, but I guess... By the end of it, if you get the high resistance, it should be better. Yeah, no, great. Good, great, great work. Great job. Totally seems like it makes a difference. Gives ambience to the world. This finely crafted world where we encourage you to explore it. What, you don't like ambience? That is, uh, I mean, I should be able to get that. Why not allowed there? Does this one even have one? Should probably go get the, the shooting star first. Did Para send you? I'm Sagara, nice to meet you. I specialize in sighting the Sky Islands. I mean, look, all of these fascinating ruins just started dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Wait, you know what the survey team. Okay. Oh. I mean, I just... I just got here. But I... It's so far away. I'm 
not sure I can get there in time. What time is it? Dude! I have three minutes, so I could probably get there in time. Oh, I wonder what this is. Where do they have the notes? There. Got it. There, what did it say? T in a tent at a nearby camp. Okay, there we go. Got it. We'll go and make Hestu dance, <laughs> since I think I have enough for another upgrade. <laughs> this is the problem with this, I guess until I get the set. This is the problem with the potions, is like sometimes they'll be useful for 30 seconds and then it's like, well, wasted that potion. And there's no real way to gauge um, how long the storm is gonna last. It's still annoying. As soon as I potion the storm will end. Oh yeah, no, like, remember what was happening to me in Breath of the Wild? There was that time where I was just, I just wanted to climb up to save time. And then I would start climbing up. And it would start raining. So I'd climb down and continue walking. And then it would stop raining. And then I would go climb back up to try and save time. And then it would start raining again. And I did that four times in a row. Great mechanics. We'll go help with the sign first. Jeez, that was close. That almost fell on top. Get it. Rewind. How did that even happen? Stop. Ah. 
the only complaint I have about this is it doesn't mark it on the map, you know? It'd be nice if it marked these signs on the map. So then you could keep track of which ones you had done. I do find it a bit strange. It doesn't, uh, yeah, point it out. Deep Force. It's not directly under it. Weird physics thing. I mean, I kind of get what it wants me to do, but it doesn't seem to be working. Doesn't seem to be changing. That was weird.
to be honest. It's not working in the way that I thought it would. Oh no, it did. Interesting. So wait a minute. You mean to tell me that if I do this, like, just be a fucking madman like this, before I go face something, I'm gonna try this next time. But if I do this and then just reverse the flow of time, it acts as a weapon. I'm, go I'm going to I'm going to fight something like this next time. I want to see. Yeah, this is going to be easy. I can just drop it at the height that I need it to be. Except that, okay, the, the chest on that was a problem. Admittedly, that was not my wisest choice. <laughs> Everything else about it should work. Get ball. Didn't that work? I don't understand how this completely works. Why that doesn't work at all. Oh, I'm overcomplicating it. Yeah, it's just sinking in the water. I thought it was like a weird momentum thing. I can do this, I can do this. Just gotta do it here. Like, roughly there. Doesn't have to be all the way up. 
I'm sure that. Yep, sir. Stop, stop, sir. I'm sure that that's going to be fine now. But I don't need to do this at all. How many times is this going to just bail me out of situations? Oops. So this has literally hit the ceiling. This is as high as this needs to go. Don't get crushed. This is just an even better form of what I used to do with Octorok balloons. I mean, even the, the option is still there. Like, if I need to go high off a single platform, I just use the Octorok balloon thing. Because you, you reach its top, then you use Octorok balloons to go even higher. Then when they fall, you rewind to put yourself back there. And then you put more Octorok balloons down. <laughs> you can just keep going up. You need a lot of Octorok balloons, but it's doable. It's, it's, there's nothing stopping you. Okay, one sec. I must do this. Hello there. Okay. That's it. I thought it was a quest. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I hear a voice coming from that well over there. Maybe it's just my imagination. 
I smell Karoxades on you. Okay. Do it. I like this dance better than the first one. <laughs> How much do I need for the weapon stash? 17. No, not quite. Uh, I'll do another bow. <laughs> the new dance is great. <laughs> It's catchy. I'll be back later. Okay, that's one of the ingredients I need. I just need milk now. All the new stuff is great. They could have kept it the same, but they went with something new. Huh? So now the ingredient shop should be ready. Pumpkins, butter, Ugh, they don't have milk. Aww. I heard the news, you've done us a huge favor. Those who have argued about the offense and defense since they were barely old enough to walk. <laughs> they just praised each other's vegetables and now it's like a brand new day for those old coots. We've also got some stock back in, so it's happy days all around. That reminds me, please take this and draw a carrot. Ah. Okay. It's been prized since all times, and it's become remarkably rare of late. Please take it with you on your journey. Ah. Welcome in. Those old coots finally made up, so I have a strong stock of ingredients for sale again. Except there's one little problem. Bird eggs are still in short supply around here. The cuckoos lay, still lay their eggs every morning, of course, but they've just started laying them in a new spot. Mm. I tried following them once to their new nesting place, but I'm not as quick as I was on my feet. I usually, like, have ten of them on stock, but oh well, there you go. Aww. You really brought me ten bird eggs? What a kind of thing to do, thank you very much. Of course, I'm not about to take them off your hands without paying. <laughs> I know it's not much, but that should still be more than you'd normally get. You just put these on display. <sighs> now, both my shells and my heart are full. Please come again. I didn't follow the chickens at all. Okay. Mm. Oh. 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 Just in case I need to do some cooking with certain things. Oh. Still not the milk that I needed. These are just arrow. What are the supplies of other things? Okay. Oh, the dude. Hang on. That's it. If you look at all these slabs together, don't they read like some sort of single message? Could the rest of the message be on a slab in the floating ring ruin? But why? Oh, this is impossible. Trying to figure this stuff out is making my head hurt. Oh, well, at the end of the day, I learned a little something about our history. Thank you for everything. Butterflies? Oh. Give me money. I don't want butterflies. Give me money. 
I can go catch those myself. I sure hope Nana's doing okay. At least she's getting some rest at home. I mean, you're one of those tourists who poke around the ring ruins. I worry that with some of the folks running around, something might happen to my plum garden. The previous chief planted these beautiful plum trees on the day I was born. They're part of me. Oh yeah, this thing. She gets angry. I have I have that ingredient. I just need to find milk. Like the ingredient is the sun thing. Look there, look, look. That's it there. Hylian rice, milk, and wild greens. kind of annoying. What other town have I been to? I mean, let's check the Rito village. I don't think the Rito village has it. I get the feeling it's not going to be that. I might need to go to Hatino. But I wanted to continue this, the Hebra Mountains, it's just been <laughs> such... Well, I, okay, not just the Hebra Mountains, I need to go to the Woodland Stable, so I need to go to Woodland. And then if I'm going to Woodland, I may as well go to the forest. Ugh, it's just... There's so much to do. Surprise, motherfucker. Butter, cane sugar, shrooms, wheat. I'll get some sugar. Ah. Yeah, not, not here either. Okay. It, it would have to be Hatena. It would have to be Hatena. <laughs> uh, let's go from here. Because there's, there's cows in Hatena. I know this already. I might just go on a trip down to Hatena and that's it. Get the milk, come back. Because those prices are insane. <laughs> I'm not paying five grand. Okay. Uh, let's take an intermission because it's been four and a half hours from what I've just noticed. So give me two to five minutes. I'm going to stretch my legs. I'm going to make some tea. And uh, we will continue. We'll head further east to Hatino and then go to Woodland Stable once that's done. So, yeah. But if you're watching later on YouTube, this is where I say bye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Consider doing all that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support the channel. But yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.